Hey, Super Writers. Tonight at dinner, my family and I were talking about something that made us laugh. Um, around my house, we like to hide and jump out and scare people. And um, it's really funny. It's kind of scary, but it is funny. And I was telling my family about this one time when Mr. Bob scared me in my classroom. And then I thought, you know, I should write some of these funny moments down because they would make great stories. And then that got me thinking about narrative writing in our classroom. And it's been a while since we've talked about that. So I thought we could revisit that right now. Narrative writing is writing about small moments. They're small moment stories, real life, true things that have happened to you. Um, sometimes it's really easy to think about a story that you want to write about. Um, like what happened to my family and I at dinner, we were talking about, um, just times that we've scared each other. And that made me think about the time Mr. Bob scared me. Um, but sometimes it can be difficult to come up with a topic to write about, or, um, it might be hard to remember something that has happened to you. So for today's writing lesson, I wanted to teach you or remind you really of some tips that you could use if you're having a hard time coming up with a story to write about, okay? So I took my notes on little hearts because we have been decorating the windows in the house with hearts for healthcare workers. So I thought it'd be fun to take my writing notes on hearts today. So my first tip for you is that you could think about a person, somebody that you love or somebody that you know, um, but think about a person and then try to remember a time or um, a, a moment that you shared with them and write about that. Another thing that you could do is think about a place that you like. Maybe it's somewhere you've only been a couple of times, or maybe it's a favorite place that you visit often, but you could think about a place and then write a story about something that happened to you while you were there. Another thing that you could do is think about big feelings. Maybe there was a time that you felt really happy or excited, and you could write the story about the time when you felt that way. Or maybe there was a time that you felt really mad or grumpy. You could write about a time where you experienced that big feeling. Whatever tip that you choose to try today, try to think of a small moment that you could share. So I thought I would get started right now on the time that Mr. Bob scared me in the classroom. So will you help me start that piece? So remember, it's easiest to start your writing by drawing your picture first. That way you can remember everything that happened. So I'm going to start my illustration. I remember that, you know, that big bookshelf that is right in the classroom when you first walk in. I'm going to draw that and give that a little shade. And I will go back and make my picture perfect later. I'm just going to color that in just a little bit. And here is the classroom door. And when I walked in, all of the lights were out in the classroom. It was all the way dark. So I did not even know that Mr. Bob was in there. But he knows that I'm easy to scare. So here I am. I'm going to draw me here. I was walking in. I'm kind of drawing me. Almost looks like I'm falling over it's because Mr. Bob scared me. I walked in the classroom and I turned on the light. Mr. Bob, I'm going to draw him in blue. Mr. Bob was hiding behind this shelf right here. And when I turned on the light and I turned around, he jumped up and shouted, and oh my goodness, you guys, I was so scared. Well, I can't give him any hair because he doesn't have much. Well, he's got a little bit right there. I'll give him a little bit of hair. But he jumped up from behind that shelf 
and scared me. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a speech bubble. Do you guys remember what those are? It's where we can draw what the person said. Mr. Bob jumped up and he shouted, Boo! I'm using an exclamation mark because he definitely used an excited voice when he shouted at me. Now, I will come back and work on my picture a little bit more later, but this helps me remember everything that happened. So, let's get started writing. Let me see. I'm going to say, I walked in my classroom. So, I'm going to start with I. Remember, I is always capital when it's written by itself. And it's going to be capital anyway since it's the beginning of my sentence. I, I'm going to space in between each word. Walked in. A space in the word in. Oh, that's a snap word. I should know that. In my out of room on that line. So I come down to the next line. Classroom. Cold. Oh, you guys, we should know that blend. Col, it's C-L. Class. Good stretching. And remember, we're not worried about whether or not the word is spelled correctly. We just have to make sure that we make all of the sounds and we write down a letter for every sound that we hear. Classroom. I walked in my classroom. Period, that's the end of that sentence. It. Now, I have another capital letter because it's a new sentence. It, space, was. Oh, you guys, that's a snap word, and I remember it's tricky because it does not follow the rules. Do you remember how to spell was? W-A-S. It was quiet. Qu oh, I know, that's Q. And who's Q's best friend? You. Q and you always go together. It was quiet. Then, capital letter because it's a new sentence. Then, Mr. Mist, Mr. Bob, B Bob. And I'm using capital letters here because I'm talking about somebody's name. We always capitalize somebody's name. Mr. Bob jumped j j um t out ow 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 do you remember what makes the ow sound in this word it's o u jumped out and scared sk Space me. I'm going to use my exclamation mark because I'm using my excited voice there. Thanks for helping me get started, kiddos. I'm going to keep working on my story about the time when Mr. Bob scared me. I'm going to work on my illustration and add some more words. It's time for you to go get started on your small moment story. Don't forget, if you can't think of what to write about, Think about a person, a place, or a big feeling that you've had and write a story that comes to mind when you think of one of those topics. Don't forget to share your writing with me, you guys. Off you go.